Seiko has a rich history in regards to dive watches, and usually we have a limited edition to discuss. But today, we have a non-limited but very special edition to the Prospects line. In 1975, Seiko came out with its first watch that was designed to withstand the dangerous world of professional diving. This watch was called the Saturation Diver, which had a one-piece case, outer shroud, and revolutionary L-shaped protective gasket. It also had over 20 patents licensed for it from only the exterior. Instead of using a helium escape valve like other companies, Seiko created a case that is impermeable by helium. Today's watch is a reinterpretation of the 1975 dive watch and is what you might recognize as being called the tuna, except this is a very special tuna that is loaded with high quality materials. Today we are reviewing the SLA-042. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you awesome watch content at least once a week. And if you haven't already, please make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. In our last video, we reviewed the Oris Okavango Big Crown Pro Pilot Limited Edition. This is a really fun and interesting piece that I recommend checking out the review on if you are after a casual daily wear type piece with a little extra fun to it with that awesome dial. Wrist check time. Today I'm wearing my Grand Seiko Snowflake, which is one of my favorite pieces to wear just because it's always exciting to look at. The timekeeping is always incredible with the spring drive and it's very lightweight, which makes me sometimes wonder if it's even on my wrist at the end of the day. And now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. My measurements for the SLA-042 are a 52.4 millimeter case width, a 17.4 millimeter thickness, a 53.2 millimeter lug to lug, a 21.8 millimeter lug width, and weighing in at 157.14 grams. The outer case is very round and is ceramic in a matte gray color. You will find four rose-toned Allen key screws which are used to disassemble this piece. A screw down crown can be found at the four position in rose tone. The inner case is made out of a solid piece of titanium and cannot be accessed through the back. The crystal is sapphire and is sunk down below the bezel. The bezel is made out of ever brilliant steel and plated to rose tone, which offers a very high level of corrosion resistance. The bezel insert has a 60 minute grade on it and is a material that is unpublished, but I will say that it looks like a thick clear coating over most likely aluminum underneath. It rotates unidirectionally and let's go ahead and check to see how it sounds. So the bezel is actually one of the best ones that I've ever tested. It has a smooth, precise movement and the slits on the case really make it simple to place your hands and turn it. I really recommend this bezel. The dial is simply matte black and nothing crazy is going on here. Seiko can be found at the top middle portion in silver with a subtle texture. The dial markers are all circles besides the 12, which is a triangle, and the 3, which is a small rectangle. They all have subtle rims of silver texture. The hour hand is a silver sword syringe and the minute hand is a silver arrow syringe style with a simple silver second hand that has a circle near the top. The date window can be found at the three position and has a black background with white numerals. The prospect symbol, automatic, professional and 1000M can be found at the lower middle portion. Loom can be found on all dial markers, the hour, minute and second hands and the 60 marker on the bezel. The case back is completely closed and has Seiko above the prospect symbol in the center. It says for saturation diving at the top. It has a very smooth feel and is in a shiny black coating. The movement is a high torque 8L35 caliber, which has been assembled at the Shizuku Ishii watch studio, which is where they make the Grand Seiko pieces. This movement has been based on the Grand Seiko caliber 9S, 
but has slightly different specs, being it beats at 28,800 beats per hour and has a 50 hour power reserve instead of the 72 on the 9S. The accuracy is rated to between losing 10 and gaining 15 seconds per day. It is typically placed on the high-end Prospects dive pieces, and it's rarely seen. The strap has compression grooves at the top, and is made out of a high-quality black silicone, and has a nice strong but soft feel. It has a rose-toned metal keeper with Seiko on it, and a rose-toned buckle. The SLA042 is 1,000 meter water resistant, and is ready to go find King Atlan's Trident, go Google that, for a wonderful $3,900. Now for my humble opinion, so this piece is totally outrageously and unapologetically a big dive watch for my six and a half inch wrist. The thing is though, I kind of like this. It's pretty light for what it is, but you absolutely feel it on your wrist still. And as high as it sits, it doesn't feel unbalanced really. And the strap seems to hug my wrist pretty well. From wearing this for a few hours, it is actually pretty comfortable and I could wear this as a casual fun watch easily. Will it work with a suit? Probably not, but with a short sleeve shirt at the beach? Absolutely. One thing here is certain though, this piece makes a big statement and you can see it from pretty much a mile away. Many people will recognize the tuna and this one looks pretty special with those rose accents. I'll go ahead and recommend this piece for anyone who would like a true purposeful dive watch or just likes that sort of aesthetic. If you are into large watches, then this one should absolutely be on your radar, but also perhaps you just want a fun and attention grabbing piece to wear. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like and share this with all of your friends. I look forward to seeing you next video.